Hello everyone, I am back, and today I have one of my random videos, and it is Hover. Yes. Most of you probably have never heard of this game because it is for. It came in a CD for Windows 95 operating system, and I've been playing this game for a while. I think I first played it when I was like four or five, and I think it was probably the first video game I've ever played, and it really got me introduced into the video game, man. Let me just hop right in here. Hopefully the sounds aren't too loud. Mouse in the way. Okay. So, in this game, what basically you try to do is you try to get the blue flag, as I just did. And you navigate in your hovercraft, and you can gain certain power-ups. Like, for example, I just got a shield, and you can see right here that it keeps me from hitting certain... Oh, and there's my opponent. He's getting the red flag. So it's sort of like a little version of capture the flag, only... different. If you can think of it that way. It's, a little bit, it's pretty difficult for me to concentrate on this. Oh, let me just place down the wall. Um, yes. And there's other things that you can get, such as... If you see the Z, X, and C keys, in the bottom left corner are certain power-ups, and one of them is a jump boost, which I currently have. So you can just jump like that, and X is the wall, which I showed you earlier, which is probably the most useless. Oh, another flag. And the last one, I'm not entirely sure what it does, but all I know is it turns your view blue. And I really hope you're able to hear me, because this is a pretty loud game, and I can't adjust the levels. Okay, next level. But, yeah, this is actually a really fun game. And if you're wondering why I'm not recording in 720p, it's because probably pretty obvious that this game isn't 720p because it's for Windows 95, of all things. And for Windows 95, you have to admit this is pretty good. And yeah, I guess I could show you a few of the things to do. That was a speed boost. Is one of those shield things, and if you've been noticing on the ground, these this red stuff, it's quicksand, it sticks you in the ground for a little bit, and it can get annoying. And that's something that the shield can protect you from, as well as these directional arrows, which just automatically point your craft in a certain direction and shoot you that way. And if I have the shield enabled, if you see in the bottom right the bar. Running over these pads doesn't affect me at all, which can be handy. I'm just gonna place a wall there. And I'm just gonna jump up here. And get my flag. The controls are a little bit like you're controlling a bar of soap. Oh. Oh wait, those aren't the ones. There's one that has like a... I'm not sure, quite sure what it is, but it's like a circle with a slash through it. And it makes you lose one of your flags. Um, I think these are it. Because I'm pretty good... Oh, wait, no they're not. Um, oop. Oh, and that thing I just got was a... I guess it could be considered a short circuit or a surge. It made my little radar thing in the bottom middle of the screen not display as much information. Now I'll show you again. Oh yeah, here they are. See those red ones on the right? The, if you run over them, you lose a flag. So I want to avoid those at all costs. And I think I went this way already. Yeah, I'm just going to be playing around this game. And I'm going to see how long I can go. Okay, nothing here. And this is where the level where, and this is one of the levels where you actually need the jump boost because the flag might spawn on top of one of these things. The only way to get up here is with the jump boost. I hope I don't sound like I'm talking too fast because 
this can actually become quite a fast-paced game because if you see in the top left, there's like spaces for more flags, and whoop, and that's because as you get through, there's only three levels. You can see I just completed three of them. Now there, now there are four flags to worry about, and it eventually gets up to six. And I'm having to go up against more and more other people. And this isn't an online game, they're all just computer controlled. Sometimes they glitch out and... Or they just sit there and act stupid. And I guess they just, um... Make you... Um, oop. And I guess they just make the game more difficult because there's more of them. So there's a greater chance one of them will run into a flag. Okay, next. Oh, there's a red flag. I'm just glancing down at my radar occasion. Speed boost. Um, there's always nothing around this corner. Yeah, this game bring back, bring back. Yeah, brings back memories of early preschool days. Whenever I just sat at home, I got Windows 95 computer and started playing. I don't remember how far I ever got, but I think I'm doing. A, I will do a little bit better here. But it was like one of my favorite games to play. Like before Game Boy, before I had like a Game Boy Color or anything like that, I just played this. And there were also a few other Windows 95 games that I could play. Like there was this one random speed on boost thing. It's like in molasses, but. Continuing on, what I did was, or there was this one game on Windows 95 or Windows 98 that was like a skiing game, and if you could just imagine this, it's like, it wasn't 3D or anything, but it was like, sort of like Temple Run, and like you're a skier at the top of the map, or you're, so you're at the top of the screen, and there's this long, narrow map that goes downwards like you're on a ski hill, and there's these trees and stuff that you have to avoid. And what you do is you just avoid the trees, don't run into them, and see how far you can get. And there's also a Sasquatch that runs along it in certain places, and if he touches you, you get eaten by him and you basically lose. And I don't think the game really has an end, Oop, going that way. but I've never actually won the game or gotten like more than 10 seconds into it. I'm hoping I can find that game, but it's pretty difficult to find these on the internet. But I will be providing a link in the bottom for you to be able to have this game, because it's pretty fun. And it's just a simple EXE file, so you shouldn't need to worry about compatibility issues. Going fast now. Okay. Red flag. Oh, here we go. Good. Got it. Who knows? This video, this could turn out to be a very long, oops, a very long video if I continue winning. It's not like I'm on easy difficulty or something because like this game really doesn't have difficulty. Like it just um, increases the difficulty of your controls. Like you see how I'm sort of just sliding around whenever I turn. It makes that greater. Like it makes it more difficult to turn around corners. But right now I'm on the medium setting, or intermediate as it's called. But I hope you can hear me because I think this game's quite loud actually because there's no volume slider like on other games I've played. But, oh, my slide. So that's about it all about this game. So now you can see me play this game and see how far I can get. And if any of you have played this game before, let me know in the comments because be really interested to know if you've played this game before because it'd be nice if I knew somebody else played this game instead of just me. And oh, there's a flag. Yeah, this is the place in this level I hate because you see those I can't run over any of those or else I'll lose that flag I just got. Oop, they just got a flag. Yeah, it eventually gets to a point where you like 
can't concentrate on anything else but the game. Sorry about that. My recording software cut me off again. Oh, yeah. That's the annoying thing about free trial versions of things. They only let you record for a certain amount of time. But besides the point, I forget what I was talking about about this level, but... I wonder if, like, because it's sort of... I guess it's considered open source because, like, I can get it all the video files in it. Or video files. I can get into all of the files it uses. Oop, here's my next flag. Jump. Okay. I wonder if I can jump to that next one. But... Yeah, I, would, there, I bet there's mods for this game, or... I guess you could consider them texture packages. Not like, to change this to look like something else, or... Make it high definition, or something like that. Which would actually be quite cool, because... Or adds new levels, or... Stuff like that, because... This is actually a really fun game. Yeah, I'm into the... Classic old kind of games. That aren't entirely perfect. Where's my next flag? That's the thing, like, sometimes you can get so turned around in these maps and you just end up going in an endless loop. Oh, this one. Oh, here's my next flag. I don't, I don't even think all of the flags are... Ah. Oh, dang it. Just lost. Yeah, high score. Laser Lord 10. Okay. Um, let's play again. Um, I forget what level that was at. Um, I'm just trying to do the math here, so. I started at 3. I did 3 levels now. Then I was at 4. 6. I think I'm at, like, Let's do nine. Okay, so we're starting from where we left off. I don't think I'm gonna make this video too much longer than 20 minutes because it can get it can get monotonous. And yeah. wait, did I start too late? Because there wasn't six flags last time. But yeah. uh, oh, another flag! Oh, dang it! I hate that because it's like the flag is right there and you can't do anything. There, and stuck in quicksand. See my little flag there. Let go. I'm just gonna see how far I can get. And bouncing off walls. I really hope this flag is on this corner. Yep. Go there, get speed unboost. Cool. Oh, they lost one there. Never mind. What? Yeah, see. There's one point where it gets where there's so many other I guess you could consider them players out there. Where it's just like constant flag getting. I guess you could consider it, but yeah, my commentary is probably failing a bit right now because I'm concentrating so much I'm trying to get this last flag. It can be quite get out of here. It can be quite stressful, I guess. I thought that other car was my flag. Uh is that a speed boost or speed boost? I don't know. Come other flag. Come on. Yes. Thought I missed it there for a second. That would have been bad. Okay, next level. You can see two of my flags already. And these things won't do anything to me now because I don't have any flags yet. So. There. Speed boost. I'm taking. Although these guys are. Per oh, I'll get this flag while I'm at it. These guys are probably going to try to get in my way. Yep. Yep. Whoop. Jump. Gosh, they're getting flagged so many. Oh, another flag. Oh wait, no, that's not another flag. I thought I saw my flag next to it. I was wondering. Dang it. 
I still love this game. It may seem like a relic to most of you. Is it probably... I guess it could be considered one. But it's so fun. Like, I don't have words to describe how fun this game is. Like, I could literally play this for hours on end and not get bored. Because it's one of those games where it's endless, basically. It'd be neat if someone made mods for this. I'm gonna have to look that up. Man, I could make an entire series about Hover. If you would enjoy it. Oh, oh one of my flags is there. You did... Yes. Dang it. Get me out of this quicksand. There. I saw the flag on the radar. Oh, one on top of the balcony, I guess you can consider it. I hope I'm not blowing into the microphone too much, because I noticed that one of my one of my most recent crash tastic video, but Yeah. I'm not gonna be recording another crash tastic video because the next like his oh we have near. Yeah, I know there's also a rearing here, but I've had like I recorded that video, that last crash tastic video on the same day I'm recording this one. And I'm done with Crash Tastic for a while because that level was just. It just drained me. But. Yeah. And. Uh, like, you can get really into this game and. Actually. You can get pretty intense. I haven't said that already. And avoid those things. Next fly. I still have no idea what this does. What does it do? Like, does it, I don't think it makes me invincible to these things. Yeah, it does. If any of you guys know in the comments what that is, which you probably don't. Let me know what that is, because I've been wondering about that for a while now. I'll have to read it on the wiki page or something, because this game actually does have its own Wikipedia page. Okay, I need to find my last fly, because they're probably going to find my fly. They're probably going to find the red flag before I find the fly I need. That wouldn't be good. Although my recording software is cutting me off like that, you probably find it annoying. I also find it very annoying because, like, I'm just in the middle of a sentence and it just cuts me off right there. It's probably gonna cut me off right here. Watch this. Okay, it probably won't, but come on. Yes! But, go. I just forced a cut there because it has a recording limit of 10 minutes and I wasn't sure how much time I had left so I just cut it so I didn't need to worry about it in the middle of the level again which I need to get used to doing because if you saw in my Crash Tastic video whenever it cuts me off mid-flight if I'm playing a level where I have to fly it can get quite annoying because like I have to like restart it from like exact same place and that cut to you probably looked a bit weird because it was it's not like there's like a little menu screen before transitioning levels it just instantly does it for you as you've probably seen so I had to quickly exit out of the game to pause it restart the recording software and then start it back up so I can merge it together later why can't I get that back? I, I can't finish this because one of my flags is up on one of those floating steel planes. Yeah, those things. And I can't seem to find any jump boosts around here. <sighs> oh. Guess I'm going this way. Let's hope this is. Jump boost. Oh, it's a speed boost, but I'll take 
bounce off the walls, keep up some of our and now we're going this way. Yeah, that can be a bit annoying, but... Oh, finally, jump boost. Okay. Okay. Um... Okay, where's... where is it? Where? Flag... Where flag is... <laughs> yes! Okay. Oh, oh, oh! <sighs> Demonstrating those flag-losing panels that are the most annoying thing in the world. Okay. I swore I saw my flag across here, but it's probably just those... Dang it. Well, I think I got pretty far. So, as you see on... And, yeah, that was some... Um, I'm just gonna see what happens if I go to level, like, 100 or something. 16. 16. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna play this level once. See what I can do. But, I think I'm just gonna do my little outro spiel here. So, well, once I sense that I'm gonna lose, I'll do it. Put the wall up. I think that may have been a little bit of a premature outro, because, like, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. As I said before, this game is very confusing. I still don't know what this does. Like, what is it? Next flag. If I succeed in this level, I'll be surprised. Yeah, but if any of you are even watching any of my videos, which is probably unlikely because I have like 30 subscribers at most. Um, let me know in the comments if you like this kind of stuff because I might be doing other Windows 95 games in the future or more hover with like a new mod or there even are mods out there but oh my gosh that's something going. Really but anyway my name is Laserlord10 you have been watching hover and I will see you next time.